Welcome to the John Smart House. Constructed in 1886, the John Smart House heralded the Queen Anne style with striking asymmetrical roof lines, bays, and towers. Beginning in 1886, the home was occupied by a string of notable families and later became an Eagle's Lodge complete with slot machines, transformed into government offices, and in 1984, 98 years after being built, was acquired by the Medina Historical Society. The county acquired the property in the 1950s to use for administrative purposes. The county removed a wall from the kitchen along with all the kitchen's contents. When the Historical Society acquired the John Smart House in 1984 and began restoration, the kitchen items were transplanted from another historical property to turn the room from a county office back into a period correct kitchen. The county used the front parlor as audiovisual storage where school teachers could check out materials. The room has been reconverted back to a parlor which in its original form would have been reserved for special occasions. The floor suggests at some point a fireplace was removed along with a wall of pocket doors. Another wall of tall original wooden pocket doors remain. These lead to the middle parlor. Here the beautiful original woodwork of the first floor is on full display. As the property changed hands, the first floor woodwork remained untouched. Here the original coal burning fireplace remains intact. It features paint intended to give the appearance of marble. Leading upstairs, one passes by a two-story stained glass window. Nearly all of the original window has been preserved. Only one course of glass near the bottom has needed replacing. On the second floor, two bedrooms feature period-specific furniture and decoration. The third room was originally multiple rooms divided by a signature curved hallway. The area now features regional cultural pieces. Among the local history on display are the impossible-to-miss Giants of Seville, a husband and wife team who towered together at 7-8 and 7-11. Outside, the house began in the 1880s with a roof of slate. The roof has since been retrofitted. It's had shingles that harken back to a classic design, and in recent years the building received another slate roof. Heating and air conditioning have been incorporated into the house. Fun fact, Medina's highest and lowest temperatures on record? A bone chilling negative 26 degrees in the winter of 94, and a sweltering 102 degrees in the summer of 1936. Recent preservation efforts are set to take place underground. Heavy rain has resulted in water in the structure's basement. Due to the age of the building, it's unlikely the house included footer drains. In modern construction, footer drains are buried below the surface around a building's foundation and gently slope towards the street's sewer system. With a footer drain in place, instead of water building up around the foundation and then seeping into the basement, the water will be collected by the footer pipes and run off into the city system. To connect the drainage system to the city sewer system is no small feat. Plants and other landscaping must be shoveled out and relocated. Some work around the foundation can be accessed using modern excavation equipment. However, like any good Queen Anne should, this house has porches, and it's got a lot of them. A total of three ground level porches circle the foundation, which means digging has to be done by hand underneath the porches. Digging below a fully constructed porch is something even the original builders didn't contend with. Even with the loss of much county funding years ago, the Historical Society will ensure this impressive structure of the past can be enjoyed well into the future.